Jacob had received his father Isaac's blessing by deceiving him and his brother Esau. Esau was angry at his brother and vowed to kill him. His mother Rebekah came to know of this and went to warn him. Son, you must listen to me very carefully. Your brother is angry at you and he has taken a vow to kill you. You must leave now and escape to Haran, where my brother Laban lives with his family. Stay there until your brother forgets what happened and find the heart to forgive you. Go now and stay there until I send for you. Very well, mother, as you wish. Now Rebecca wanted to send Jacob to her father's house with Isaac's blessing, but she had to present it differently. So she went up to Isaac and spoke to him. Isaac, I have something to tell you. It's about Jacob. Hmm. I've been thinking about Jacob too. What is it, Rebecca? I do not want Jacob to marry a girl from Canaan. I don't think that any girl from Canaan would suit Jacob. Why don't we send Jacob to my brother Laban for a while, so he can find somebody there? That sounds like a good idea, Rebecca. Send Jacob to me so I can talk to him about this. Did you call for me, father? Yes, Jacob. You need to go to Laban, your uncle in Haran. It's a long journey from here, but it will be worth it. You can choose a woman from Haran to be your wife. You have my blessings. You will be a leader of the people, and you will have a nation to your name if you follow God's will. Go now and be blessed. And so, Jacob left Beersheba for Haran. He traveled for several days through the desert and the wilderness. He had to face several hardships on the journey. One night, he reached an open space and he couldn't see because it was too dark. So, he decided to rest the night there. He took a rock and rested his head on the rock. Soon, Jacob fell into a deep sleep. He had a dream, and what a strange dream it was. I am the Lord, the one true God that your father Isaac and his father Abraham worshipped. The land that you sleep on will be yours. Your descendants will grow and flourish all over the earth. They will be as many as the sands on the seashore. Wherever you may go, you will be protected by me. You will have nothing to fear, for I am always with you. I will bring you back to this land, and I will never leave you until this promise has been fulfilled. Jacob woke up from his sleep and for a moment he could not believe that he had dreamt all of this. He realized that this was indeed the land of God and that God was telling him something. In the morning, Jacob woke up early and set the stone he had rested his head on as a pillar. He then anointed the stone with some oil and named the place as Bethel. At that moment, Jacob took a vow. I go on this journey and the Lord is with me, gives me food to eat, water to drink, and clothes to wear. And if I return safely back to my father's house, then I promise that the Lord will be my God forever. The stone that I have set up here will be the house of God. 
I also promise that whatever wealth that I may make, I will give a tenth of it to God. And so, the strange dream that Jacob had had changed Jacob completely. And through this dream, he realized that God would be with him everywhere he went and protect him against all dangers. Music